don't worry. This is a safe place. Safe from stupidity. Today, I'm going to be talking about the most hated thing ever. Public enemy number one. The Baofeng UV-5R, which, if you believe what some people po- Some people say is a scourge on society and is responsible for everything gone wrong in this world. I'm sure you've seen the comments posted online. They generally go something like this. The UV-5R is trash. The UV-5R is worthless. And of course, the old standby. The UV-5R is just a Chinese piece of junk. Is this little underdog of the radio world, is it really worthless? Is it really junk? Or should you buy one? if for nothing else, just to piss off those people. In this video, I'm gonna go over the facts together, you and I, so you can decide if the UV5R is right for you or if like some people, some people keep saying, is it just junk? First, let's clear this up right away. Let's get this right up front. Some people, some people say that this radio is illegal. That is not correct. This radio is not illegal. It is not illegal to buy. It is not illegal to own. So if you have one, don't worry. You're not going to go to jail just for owning one. And you don't need to tell everybody that you lost yours in a boating accident. So now let's talk about what the UV-5R is. A Baofeng UV-5R and the similar radios is a ham radio. And according to the FCC rules, rules and regulations, rules, not laws. And according to those rules, rules, not laws, you need a ham radio operator's license to push this button. You can listen to whatever you want. No license is needed to just listen in and monitor or scan the frequencies. You only need that license if you want to push this button. Now that license is not difficult to get as some people some people continually say online, you'll see it posted everywhere, the license is very easy to get. Any 10-year-old could pass the test. And yet, for some reason, those very same people go around leaving comments online everywhere, acting like by having that license, they're some sort of federally licensed radio PhD. So what will happen if you push this button without your exclusive club membership that any 10-year-old can get? Well, if you believe what some people, some people say online. But in reality, according to the FCC's own record of enforcement of their rules and regulations, rules and regulations, not laws, according to their own records and their own track record, nothing will happen if you press this button. Even though some people some people continue to spread the misinformation that by using a UV-5R without a license, you will get a $250,000 fine, you will go to jail, you will be hunted down by the FCC. But the fact is, according to the FCC's own website and database, which by law must be kept public and is easily searchable, the fact is the FCC has never, never, find or imprisoned anyone for simply using a UV-5R or similar radio without a license that wasn't also doing something that was actually illegal or violated other rules and regulations like causing intentional interference to a business or interfering with emergency services, that sort of thing. No one has ever been fined or imprisoned or gone to the electric chair for simply using a UV-5R or similar radio without the proper license. Not once. So the next time you see someone online spreading this kind of misinformation, ask them for a link to the enforcement entry, which is publicly available on the FCC website. Anytime the FCC does any sort of enforcement, it is put in the database. Ask them for a link to that entry and they will not do it because they can't. So why else would some people, some people hate, hate is such a strong word. Why would so many people hate this radio so much. I will now go over a few of the reasons why. The first reason why so many people hate this radio so much, hate, hate, is because of the price. I got my first one for about $25. You can find them now for between $25 and $45. But some people, 
Some people will try to convince you that if your radio didn't cost hundreds of dollars, it is not worthy of joining their exclusive club that any 10-year-old can get into. Some people will claim repeatedly, over and over and over and over, non that these radios are junk, that they just fall apart. Well, this particular radio is five or six years old. It's been off-roading with me hundreds of times, as have many others of the similar age. I usually take several of them with me in case somebody needs to borrow one. Off-roading hundreds of times, this one and several others of mine have been dropped multiple times and they still work just fine. But if I did drop one, or if it did stop working after a year or so, so what? It cost $25. So I suppose that if something being inexpensive is a reason for such hatred, then I guess they'd be right. Some people, some people will express hatred and rage because it's made in China. Just like the phone that they have or the computer that they're probably using to type those comments in on. But to be fair, if someone fundamentally objects to buying things from China or made in China, then okay. We have a name for those people. We call those people hypocrites. Some people hate the UV5R because there are so many counterfeits and fake copies out there. So they hate my real one because there are so many other fake copies out there. Okay, but the fake, the counterfeit ones, the fake ones, usually work just about as well as the real ones. And again, for $25, most normal people won't care. Some people, some people hate the UV5R because it sounds like crap. That's pretty much true. This is not a high fidelity radio. They cost $25 or $30. Most people are smart enough not to expect that it's not gonna be the greatest sounding radio in the world. And all that most people care about is, can my friend, half a mile, a mile away, using his crappy sounding radio, can he hear me and understand what I'm saying? And can I hear him and understand what he's saying? And the answer is always yes. And that's good enough for most normal people. But the biggest complaint, the biggest issue by some people for having so much rage and hatred against the UV5R is the lack of spectral purity, purity, and the spurious RF emissions and splatter that the radio emits, which is apparently a huge, major, dangerous issue, according to some people. Now, most normal people won't understand what that means, so let me explain it to you in very technical terms. What that means is the RF electricities that ooze out of this part of the radio, this is where the antenna usually goes, the RF electricities that ooze out of there, they're not perfectly shaped RF electricities waves and therefore are impure. They are imperfect. And that is usually true, but does this mean that when I press this button to talk to my friend using his impure radio, that he can't hear me? No, he still hears me just fine. Can I still hear him? Yeah, I can still hear him just fine. So for most normal, normally socially adjusted people who just wanna to talk to their friends playing paintball or when they're off-roading, this means nothing. Normal people don't care. Now some people, some people will tell us that it is this lack of purity, lack of spectral purity that can interfere with airplanes, air traffic control, police, fire departments. It can stop pacemakers. I have not yet been able to find any evidence of any airplanes dropping out of the sky, any hospitals being shutting down, any deaths, any injured children, or any piles of leaves catching on fire due to impure, spurious RF emissions. So until someone can provide a link to a valid source confirming that any of these horrible things have happened due to the impurity, the impureness, the uncleanness of a UV5R, until somebody actually leaves a link showing that this has ever happened, it's just more of the lies that some people, some people, in their fits of rage, some people, continue to spread. Now you know why some people have so much hatred in their broken little hearts toward this little underdog of a radio. Did I miss anything? Am I wrong? Do you love your UV5R? Or is the UV5R a scourge on society? You know how this works.